hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can create an image and upload it to ccboot server ccboot classic 2019 and still support secure boot even though you are using older version ccboot client 2019 so let's get started i've already installed all of the drivers for this computer and also optimize the windows using chris titus script and as you can see i have the drivers installed please note that when you are using windows 11 for real tech you have to install the windows 10 driver and not the windows 11 driver which uses net adapter cx uh, device group while the older windows 10 drivers uses ndis device group so you have to install uh, windows 10 ndis driver not the windows 11 driver so um, this is the latest one that i can find in their real tech website and it's already installed all of the drivers are installed and uh, none of the drivers are pending installation also uh, windows has been updated to latest version as you can see this is uh, latest 25 s2 beta or dev builds actually not beta now i have installed the cc boot client 2019 already and also set the ip in the network adapter as you can see i have already set the static ip now after installing this you can uh, create the image directly but before you create the image you have to make a change in the registry let me show you registry editor and head over to this registry key uh, i'll have this in the description of the video and add this uh, entry upgraded system and the value should be one this allows for older driver to work even when secure boot is enabled so let me show you uh, okay let me upload the image since i already installed the cc boot client and chose the correct driver for the real tech this one uh, yeah this one so i can just simply upload the image and choose manual upload now uh, don't use the vsdx format as vsdx format does not support compacting the image from cc boot server or manually also so so let me choose the upload folder and the server ip password and let me choose the images folder uh, let me delete this one this is an older image so let me upload it as windows 11 and okay so i'm going to create the image i'll pause the recording here and be back once the uploading is done so on the server uh, it's uploading as you can see here we are receiving from the client and let me open the upload folder and it's the image that is being uploaded right now properties as you can see 9 gb has been uploaded already so let me finish this and once it's done i will change the image from here this one to other one and i'm using the pre-signed uh, efi files smp own pre-signed and it's added to my tftp folder here as you can see these two files and these are signed so we don't have to add any uh, certificates to the bias as you can see here and uh, the boot script is this one that i'm going to use only three lines and if you plan to install windows to cc boot image directly then you can use the other script like this you can make your own script or you can download it from link in the description of this video so let me go back uh, it's almost done so let me pause the recording and once it's done i'll be back the upload is almost finished just a few seconds okay the upload is done let me close this and turn off the computer and unplug the ssd so the upload is done and it's available here now in the d drive this one so let me add it in the image manager oh it was al already added in previous let me select it again so there are no issues with it now let me change the image file here to windows 11 option a now when using the signed ipxc.efi uh, signed file you have to use a 
STP server like this one. And uh, this was mentioned in my previous videos. So let me start the STP server and minimize it. And let me turn on the computer, click on LAN. Okay, it's starting to read from the image. And I'm not sure why, but in 25H2 with secure boot enabled or secure boot disabled, uh, there is a long pause for reading. I noticed this after creating multiple images, but uh, the boot is quite fast once it has loaded up to logo. So it's reading, but uh, it's currently in uh, black screen and now just show it logo. And when it shows logo, it reads quite a lot of uh, data from the server. And as you can see, it's booting. Let's wait. Sorry, let me start booting. And as you can see here, there are no issues with coding. Continues to put. So all of this only using CC Classics 2019 and no need to use any other uh, versions to be able to support the secure boot in Windows 11 or 10. And all of the features are supported. Uh, for example, I have set here cache client cache and it's enabled and working for the client this is the first boot after creating the image so it's a little bit slow but once it has fully booted then it should not be slow so let me open cc boot and show you the cache is working as you can see here cache is working now also let me show you the remote control And as you can see, uh, the remote control from server also works. You can turn off, restart, wake on LAN. The PC renaming also works. You can open about. And as you can see here, PC name or device name is 2007. And everything is working. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you can use 2019, uh, Cisco class of 2019 on Windows 11 with secure boot enabled. And let me info. As you can see, secure boot is on in VF5. Let me open TPM also. Security, secure boot processor details. As you can see, TPM is 2.0, as you can see here. So that's about it for this video. If you have any question regarding how I uh, created the image or how I did the register entry, then you can reach out to me in WhatsApp or Telegram. So have a good day.